Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeft here, and for today's Let's Play War Game, a War Game, or... Oh yes, War Game Wednesday. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, we're going to try out Star Drive. I also have Chrome with us, he's been playing it for a while. What's up? There we go. <laughs> so, I just heard about this game today, and I haven't the slightest clue what I'm doing, and I'm not doing the tutorials. Let's go! I want a different flag color. All different flag, yeah, I suppose. Because huh? it can get pretty confusing with everyone else's color. A lot of, there's like two different people that are like red. Stay away from red. Okay, so stay away from red. <laughs> Go with fluorescent pink. <laughs> Dark blue. Dark blue, there we go. Yeah, home system, human, human, United Federation. We'll just stick with this stuff here. Instead of smart, this should be creative. That's strange tradition. I'm gonna get the prototype flagship. Okay, rule option. Okay. How do I get out of that? Okay, there we go. And let's go for it. Smart, industrious, meticulous, and prototype flagship. Oh, we'll click to continue. It just doesn't automatically start. Oh. oh, dude, this is nice. Mercury, Venus, Mars. The the graphics are real nice. Let's see the other planet, the stars, and everything. Very polished. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's hard. Wow, well, that was hard to figure out. How do I move? Oh no, I don't understand. So let's put that ship out there. Whoa, dude. <laughs> nice. So what are you? You're a colony ship. What happens if I click on the planet? I see it's a 2D game. Go to my shipyard. I got a ballistic cannon, flak turret, scatter flak turret, Vulcan cannon, bomb. We got fuel cells. We got small warp engines and stuff. Power plants and power conduit. Uh, defense. We got armor for internal bulkheads. Specialists. We got storage, small ordnance, sword and storage command. We have a cockpit and colony. We have a colonization module. We got fighters. We got freighters, and we got platforms. Okay, dokey. Empire. This is our empire. We got the labor thing set up here. Research, work, and farming. We can import food. Earth is a Terran class planet, population 1414, fertility 2, richness 2, and this does not look like a map of Earth. Yes, I'm controlling this colony manually. I don't really have anything to construct. Oh! Yeah, it's not accurate. Futuristic, whatever. And a spaceport. Okay, so we're gonna build something. We got plenty of food. Let's Basically, see. you could let the AI handle it for you. No. This other guy, and I saw his other let's play. He let the he let the AI govern all his places, but I don't know. It's up to you. They seem like every time you you rush build something, it uses money. It uses money. It could just be me. It could just be the AI. So it's up to you. But um, planets, uh, you have to pay attention to their uh, fertility. And their richness. Fertility means that the planet's fertile. It'll be your every uh, colonist, which represents a billion, 
people doing, uh, you know, uh, the food stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll be it'll it'll be every turn like point one star date. Like if fertility's two, like on your planet, that means every star date turn, etc. You'll make two food for one colonist, mm -hmm. and same goes with richness for the production. Now, as long as you're, uh, what you call it, uh, the 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 food production is in the green, you'll be adding food every turn, and in the red, it'll start subtracting. Now, it'll fill up eventually. So then, if it fills up, you could like tell your colony to focus more on making production or science research, so uh -huh. that you don't. Um, because unless you have another planet to be faring food or production to, that'd be um, wasted, I guess. Let me check. That's just from the gist of what I've gotten from playing it the other day. Huh. Okay, so there's... I just met somebody. Yeah, most of the people you meet in this game are pretty like... They're either friendly or they're mean. But sometimes every game their, their, their attitude changes a little bit. Most of the mean people stay mean and most of the nice people are nice. Huh. They seemed nice enough. Chips, I want some more scouts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me some scouts, thank you. Let's see. This plant's not inhabitable by my species. This plant's not inhabitable. Send a ship to the planet to discover its properties. How does research work? Oh. I click on that. Yeah. Ah, uh, balls. Research that. Okay, research queue. Good, good, good. The only recommendation for research to you is to research peaceful things when you're at peace and research war things when you. Well, yeah, that would make sense. Energy shields, physics, space weapons, magnetic artillery. Let's use missile theory. Okay, and I want out, 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 out. Thank you. Uh, that's a gas giant, not habitable by my species. There's a planet that's out there. Trying to find another planet that I know is here. It's probably a bloody useless planet, but... So you start the game with a colony ship. can colonize nearby worlds that don't have any uh, food in it. Just need to search uh, first uh, biospheres. Uh, the one before it. Aero aeroponics. Ah, I think I've got that under research already. Yeah, with that. Um, Of course, you might just need to put it inside a biosphere first. 
But I read somewhere that you don't need it, so you could try it. I'm researching it now, so it doesn't matter. Go to the planet, dude! You just entirely jump gated the wrong place. Not habitable and not habitable. I guess I'll just colonize Mars. Why not? Go, my little colony ship, go! And the recording at 5.30. How do you pause the game? Oh, okay, spacebar. Bar. Okay, so... It's not really habitable. Hmm, another person that's new. And their hologram doesn't really work all that well. So I actually have to build freighters. Do I have a freighter designed? Probably not. I'll go to shipyard. I'll select a freighter hull. Wow, that's they they could use to make it so you can zoom in and out while you're designing things. Yeah, there's still a lot of people posting stuff, uh, suggestions on the forum and buds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Feel free to uh, go to stardrive.com and suggestions there. Forum. So I actually need to put power conduits on this thing. Yeah, sometimes. I mean... I'm not exactly sure exactly. I mean, I fiddle with it sometimes. But just make sure that you have, um, that your warp, uh, the warp recharge is in the green. Because if it's in the red, then mid warp, your guys will have to stop to recharge batteries. So, we'll finish. Power capacity. Power recharge, total hit points, no shield, sublight speed 119, FTL speed 18.7. There's no power, but it's insisting I fill up that space. Of course I could just do this. There. Save as... Why is there that there? Light Cargo Mark 1. Now I have a cargo ship.
Let's design a fighter. Huh, not quite yet. So Earth, you're going to the ship you are manually controlling. Subspace projector. What does a subspace projector do? Most of all known They'll planets. Let your ships, uh, slipstream faster ah. through your friendly space. Kind of like highways. Kind of like highways. So you can you have to build like uh, conduits of them or something. Uh, you uh, you send out a freighter. And then it turns into one of those. Ah. Ships. You lose freighter. the crater in the process. Oh. I guess I'll build. This thing. Just a small transport. Add that. Scout, fighter. Take a look at what they've got on there. Close that. We got a transport ship being built. Take the fighter hull. God, these things are tiny! The ship's actually too small to take a warp engine. The only engines I've seen are all the, the small ones, square size ones. Oh, the thing is, the thing is, it turns the uh, recharge at warp into a negative number. Yeah. That's where you have to sacrifice something else. Add another damn nuclear reactor so that you got enough juice to power it. The only option that leaves you is with a nuclear reactor that takes up the entire light fighter. Which yeah, doesn't really work. You use an engine that uses less juice. Or you well, that take was away a, a, a weapon so that you have just enough. Well, I, I put the small engine in there and a small warp engine and then the reactor and that was it. And it was a negative recharge. Oh. That's a small ship. Yeah. That tiny ship. Like the scout you start with that they give you doesn't even have a warp engine on it. What race are you playing as? Human. It still does an FTL speed of 19.4. With no warp engine. Oh, that's fantastic. That's an achievement. Oh, we don't have a warp engine. Eh, whatever. Well, the small engines come with a little bit of warp power. I imagine the bigger engines probably don't. I just did something I didn't want to do. Maybe that's what it is. Could be. Can I get, like, part stats? Pause that again. Yes, tactical nuclear bomb bay. Bomb bay that allows your ship to strike a planet with low yield nuclear weapons. Tells you the mass, cost, ordnance, power, and uh, health and power. Tells you the range of these things. Gives you the mass, cost, health, speed, power requirement, damage per second. It gives you the range. 2,500 fire arc, 90 ordnance per shot, 0.8. And damage, 150. Scatter shot, flak turret. 
Boy, those things are big. Fire standard flak munitions and a three round spread. Also, the salvo is also more effective against swift targets and also provides greater potential damage per salvo on larger ships. Power required nine, requires ordnance of 2.3 per shot. And the point defense Vulcan weapon is a small rapid fire machine gun. Range is 1,000 for those. Let's check fuel cell. Yeah, the small engines come with warp. Yeah, a little bit. The warp engines come... The warp engines actually provide a thrust and turn as well, so they, they all provide a little bit of something. Yeah, it's just uh, the fighter engines don't provide any warp. Hmm? Fighter engines? Yeah. They don't have fighter engines. Oh. oh. I guess yeah, I must have unlocked them. Yeah, I have a small engine or small warp engine, that's it. Yeah, let's keep researching now. Yeah. You'll get it. Explodes when destroyed. <laughs> I've only got internal bulkheads and reinforced bulkheads. Yeah, they suck. They use up a lot of space on the inside. I just unlocked anti frigate missiles. Nice. That'll be useful because all I have are heavy fighters. And then he just unlocked frigates and he's been spamming them on me. <laughs> well, you did say the computer Since spams. He, I don't think he has any point defense turrets. I can blast him. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're not going to attack. I can give you orders apparently. What are you gonna do? Let's see, design area of operation. That is your area of operation, the soul system. You will transport goods. Good. You. Oops. Oh, curses. Okay, there you go. That is your area of operations. You will not attack. Even though you do have... Uh, no, you're not. This one doesn't have weapons. You're seeking goods. Okay. <sighs> Operate in this area. How do I deselect you? Enter, escape. Click on a planet, maybe. Mars was colonized. You still can't build anything. Okay, there we go. Excess food held in stores is now being exported. Good job, there we go, okay.
You are to explore. You are to explore. Explore for me. Explore for me. Explore. And I've crashed. Oh, nope, come back. Okay, good. I've come under attack there. Not come under attack there. You explore. There's a ship. There's a space place there that some dude's occupying. You guys aren't very good at this. Okay, you've not habitable. Barren and average. Fertility is zero. I'm not finding any plans of fertility, that's for sure. What race are you again? Human. Oh. Well, even if it has just like a little bit of fertility, it's enough to get your colony started so it can start producing uh, bits for you with as long as it has production. Yeah. I'm not finding many things without production, so that's always good. Nothing yet? Damn. Oh no, I've got. I'm finding things with production. Yeah, yeah production, yeah, we need to find a little bit of fertility. Doesn't have to be much, even like point three or whatever, point five. Mm -hmm. Enough to get a little colony started. Yeah. The thing is, I've got a freighter, so what I can do. Yeah, freighters will just keep bringing in supplies. Precisely. Unless you automate them. Yep, done. So I finished colonizing. Actually, what I did was I just gave them uh, an area of operations they work in, and they will yes. automatically work uh, transport stuff in that area. Yeah. I don't have to set up a route, you which is good because I don't have to bring supplies. supplies. You can set another one up to bring in colonists. Um, and if the planet has very little fertility, then you can't. You know, you can only grow as much as the fertility allows. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like. <laughs> Mars can get to point three right now. It's like I can tell my I can tell Earth, depending on my settings, to send labor out and have my planets my ship my freighter carry the labor out and everything, but uh, What's I that? Can't. Ooh! I can build a hydroponic farm. Friggin' bears. I ran into the bear. I uh, see the bears of the samurais for some reason. So build a hydroponic farm. Yeah, yeah the bears, bears, every time, time I play, play uh, against, against them, them, they don't, don't really, really do much for some reason. What's, what about that mind-controlling collective group thing? Uh, who are they? They got the little owls. Oh, the owl locks. Yeah, they're slaves to that central high thing. Yep. Mind controlling them. I've got uh, this like robotic bug that I've just met. The yeah, Opterus. They're, they're pretty aggressive. Hmm. The Opterus. They want to, uh, Eventually destroy all biological beings, I think. Yeah, carbon based life forms is what they're looking yeah. to destroy. Poof, the owl off goes the colony ship. They just they're neutral. Hmm? The owl people are just neutral? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty, pretty neutral, neutral. I mean the plant people are, are, are like the nice faction. If you ever find them, the plant people are very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 Cancel. I don't want scouts. I don't want scouts. I don't want scouts. Wait a minute. That is my fighter. Why is it called a scout? 
Vulcan Scout. I think someone's a Star Trek fan. And <laughs> Colony no, Vulcan, Vulcan is just the name of the gun. Hey, Colony Ship, stop orbiting. You carrying anything? Yeah, you're carrying food around, are you? Poof! Good job, freighter. Sure, I'll be friends with you samurai bears. That's fine. Hydroponics unlocked. Basic low assistance support a small colony. And now I've colonized Venus. Because this has got to be a lovely place to live, after all. I can't actually build anything on Venus yet, but... I'm about to colonize Mercury, because that's going to be equally lovely. Mercury is now colonized. You're going to colonize Mercury, you feel bad for your people. Ah, the bugs are threatening me. I've only just met them, too. Oh, here we go. The plant people. You can trust the plant people. Play for you a song of greetings. You kind of just hit three notes and that was it. I think they're from that film, uh... You know that old film? The aliens communicate by, by music. Hmm. Empire management. I've got three think, colonies now. I go with Spielberg film. Hmm. Trying to think of which one you're talking about. So I've got three colonies Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. That's my empire management. I can click on them. Not bad, not bad. Uh, diplomacy. There's two more people I have yet to meet. Production modifier, 25%. Research, 35%. Tax income to fund, 25%. Inborders FTL bonus, 50. Missile dodge chance, 0, 0. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I have no artifacts. Economics. I'm top in economic strength. Number four in science. Six in military. Goody. There's only six people I've met so far. And number five in population. What's this question mark? Oh, the help menu. I can see my budget here. My tax rate is 25%. Income is 5.1. Costs are 3.5. Trade from a core design is a little bit there. Net gain 4.6. It's not bad. 72 turns? But it seems to be real time. I want you biospheres up. Uh, shipyard. What I want to see... Oh. If so I go into here... Colony overview, colony overview, I want to see, I just saw a list of all known planets. I forgot how to get to that. Oh, opens list of all known planets, no shit. Desert, ultra poor, but it has fertility, oh, colonist, swamp, average. I want to see where that is. <laughs> Anotar 3 is completely covered in swampy marshes and forests. This planet appears to be lush and green from the orbit, but upon closer inspection, scans reveal that it is in fact entirely covered in an aggressive and resilient strain of algae.
And it's got decent richness, too. I think that'll be mm, not my next colony place, because that is really far from my space. No, no, it's not that far. I see. If I get exclamation points, it means there's a useful planet there. And then I think these are those, that one species. Okay. Soul, you're going to be creating a bunch of colony ships. I'm going to have to build a new freighter. Oh, you're building a colony ship. We we'll need some more freighters. A longer distance freighters. I want the armed cargo ship. Even if it doesn't quite carry as much. They really need a button that's like max priority, period, ding, done. To zoom out? Hmm? No, for the uh, construction quay. Zooming out was easy enough to figure out. There's a hotkey menu, but I just don't know where it is. Not habitable by me. I haven't been able to find it. I don't know. Which is funny, you know, because should be there to customize your controls and stuff. Mm-hmm. Not yet. They haven't implemented it yet. They can't build ships there. I got these people going at me like, Your military is very weak. Yeah, thank you. Apparently the dialogue com dry lock council doesn't like me very much. But seeing as they hide behind a hologram, I'm not very surprised. Very hot hologram. That's kind of like being women nice. in real life. So where is their base, though? Yes, I'm at war. Oh, all not all there. Beats the eye. These guys already have an artifact. Well, I've got a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, balls. Pacifist, cunning technologists, ruthless technologists, and cunning generalists. I'm at war with someone already, and I don't even know where the hell their system is. Oh, they go to diplomacy. Click on them. They're that. Okay, let's see. Tells me some stuff about them. They're down there. Found them. They have one system with... They have one system with a single planet. There's some, There's some systems, systems with no planets. planets. I imagine there would be, but I'm just... I just went down and looked at those guys... That guy's place, and they don't have, uh... Much of anything. That's a colony ship. Perfect. That sounds sunny. Sure. I'm glad you like your song. It consists of four notes. Do 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 do. So 
What does rush production do? Oh, I see how it works. Rush, rush production, production uses the production, production in, in that, that world, world to speed, speed up, up the building of something. And it costs some money, too. Yes, yes every, every time, time you do it, it, it uses up an equal amount of money. Now, nothing, nothing terribly bad, bad happens, happens when you go, go into the negative. negative. The only thing is that when you do that, you're not able to uh, rush uh, the construction of buildings. That's the only thing I've noticed. Hmm. Is there a button to like follow ships as they fly around? Uh, if there is, I don't know, because all the control hotkeys are hidden. And the only place I've seen them mention it is on the forum. got some ships now. Light cargo. So how do I give you a route? Also, also I, think I think it's better to manually control planets because you get a you planet, planet that's very fertile, fertile. You can just make your people all be farmers and you'll get a lot more food. And there's another planet next to it that's not fertile but very rich in minerals. You could just have them only create production, mm -hmm. and then you can choose a freighter to take food from one to the other, production from one to the other, hmm. and it's more effective that way. Hmm. I think yeah. I've got another people group who's going to fight me I ran into the Volfren. Yeah, they're dicks. <laughs> they look like dicks, so. And on that note, I'm going to stop the recording before I fill my hard drive up again. Goodbye. Have fun, everybody. Goodbye. So much for the first impression of this game. It's really interesting. See you later. We're starting the recording again because that fur that invasion fleet has arrived. And let's see what combat looks like. Don't be afraid, Sukasa. Hmm? I'm not. I think they're killing Mars though. They can't hurt you unless they drop troops onto the planet and take it over. They just did. Yeah, that's bad. Well, they haven't taken it over yet, but they've dropped troops on it. How many troops did they drop? Three. Like four? Three. Just three. Well, if it's just three, you might have a chance to survive. But you'll need to send some space marines in there quickly. So how do I do that? Um, you can quick build a space marine unit. And then when you have it built on the planet, like you can build it on that planet, that'd be great. But since that's your expansion colony, I doubt you have enough production on hand. No. So go to, go and to it's not even world. an option. Go to Earth. Oh yeah, because you haven't built a military camp yet. And not military outpost. It's not letting me build any more fighters. Only freighters. Yeah, tell them to, tell them to stop building stupid freighters. No, and, they're not. Uh, there's no freighters being built. They're just. It's not giving me an option to build fighters. Well, yeah, because yeah, on on uh, normally to build troops, you need a military post, a military camp, but your capital city allows you to build. Infantry. I've got some infantry, but my home world, my plant Earth, isn't letting me build fighters. Why isn't it not letting you build fighters? Don't know, I don't even have the option to. Well, that's, that's crazy. Yep. So how do I load these guys up? Okay, when you right-click on, the, click on them on the, on the surface screen, when you right click on them, they will teleport, they will board their ships. They have like a basic, um, like a fighter transport. It doesn't have any weapons on it, but it'll get them into, into space. And then you can, you can tell them to right click on, on Mars. And then when they're there, you right click on Mars. And on the top left panel, say troops. And you click on that and all the, all the troops orbiting the planet, you just right click and drag and drop. Excuse me. Space Marine is awaiting orders. 
rebasing, Space Marine awaiting orders, Vulcan Scout. Rebasing and rebasing. It looks like I will beat them back. In combat. You're a little bit damaged. Oh, I see the smoke comes off of like specific areas that are severely damaged. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm handedly beating this back. Ah, they captured it just before my guys got there. Well, you can capture it back, I think, maybe. Yeah. See what happens. I'm in this, but I don't know what to do. I'm building more space marines. Pretty much thrown back their fleet. Good. How does ground combat work? Have you done it? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, oh! These two just rammed each other. Boom. Pretty simple, just uh. Just roll the dice compared to the strength of the units, and uh, there's no real like uh, strategy yet. I'm hoping that they implement like some terrain that you can actually use to, uh, you know, a little bit of strategy for the ground combat. But now it's just a little bit of maneuvering and rolls of dice. That's it. left of the invasion fleet. Oh, I found an anomaly in a planet. And there's some fertility. Good. If they're mines, you get any if you find an abandoned space mine, don't explore it because there's a reason why um, it's abandoned. <laughs> it's filled with either skeletons or ant lions. And first thing, if they'll kill your troop, then they'll destroy the mine. So what you want to do is, if you find an abandoned space mine or add four, four units of infantry and then secure it so that when your colony arrives, you have a free space mine on the planet. <laughs> All the other ones or whatever. Okay, my guys aren't going down to the planet. I've got like... A bunch of space marines orbiting it. Mm -hmm. But none will... Right, click on the planet and on the top left it says troops. Click on that. Who are these devoted guys? What guys? Like squids for faces. What? Ryla. Harbringers of death and servants of the Elder God. Oh, they're the Cthulhu people. Oh, they're the Cthulhu. Oh, goody, I ran into the Cthulhus. Yeah, you, you can pretty much guess how they feel about you humans. Okay, so... 
I've got my ship selected. Alright, click, click on, on the planet, planet and then click on the surface view first. Get to the planet surface view that you want to invade. Oh god, how do I do that? Okay. You with me so far? Hmm? Uh, how do I click and get the surface view? Alright, you click on the planet that you want to invade. Ah, and okay. don't double click it, just single click it. And then oh. you know on the bottom left? There's the eyeball that gives you the details, and there's a flag that shows you the, the ground combat view. Mm-hmm. I just told to land all of them. They've all landed. Now the ground combat's going on. Yay, ground combat. So it's basically you just watch it. Well, you can, you can kind of take control and try to outmaneuver the enemy. Like, it's basically the land is kind of much, pretty much the important thing, because if you land somewhere and surround the enemy, you'll pretty much take them out, even though the defenders get the first shot. And then from there, you can start maneuvering your troops, but okay. everything else is just rolls with the dice. I've recaptured it, and now I've got another invasion fleet, which is actually better than me. Well, looks, looks like, like you get yourself a nice little ground war there, Sukasa. Keep sending in the meat. I still can't build fighters. I go to ships and all I get is freighter. Okay, maybe you maybe you accidentally deleted your original uh spaceport? Schematic? No, not the spaceport. I mean you have How do I load it up? Oh load. Where's where's my home planet? Fighter. Nope, it's still there. Okay, your spaceport's there. You might have accidentally deleted your uh, your schematic for your basic fighter. Nope. Did you build a new one? It's still there. Still there. Click on ships tab, and then you click on the fighter tab, and it doesn't show you anything. It shows freighter. Just freighters. No Just fighter. freighter. No fighter. How about scout. Nope. No scout even. And then uh, it sounds like you might have ran into a bug or something. Quite possibly. If you click on your shipyard and you have the schematics there for the ships that you designed, or the basic designs, and they don't show up. I mean, you have a spaceport, right, on your home planet still? Yep. Then there must be some kind of terrible bug you've run into, and it sounds like you got to start over. Okay, well, I'm dying anyway. Uh, on that note, we're going to end this video. <laughs> and my mouse is being t taken away from me. Ah! Uh. Have fun, everybody. I've run into a bug.